And another one of those terrifying street takeovers last weekend. This one at West 25th and Lorraine, right in front of the West Side Market. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10 o'clock. I'm Chris Fry. It has been a story 19 News has been following all week. Dangerous street takeovers in several parts of the city. Michelle Nix walks us through the latest dramatic video. Bystanders forced to jump out of the way as muscle cars perform dangerous donuts in the heart of downtown Cleveland on West 25th and Lorraine. New video shows another large group of people hiding behind face masks who wreaked havoc during last weekend's massive takeover that had police running to more than seven different locations as the bandits terrorized the community. Cleveland is not a playground uh, for this reckless, illegal, behavior. Who can forget the video 19 News was first to show you of a limo bus driver and his passengers literally held hostage as armed suspects pointed guns at the group and blocked them from moving forward on Interstate 90. The passengers in the back of the bus stated there was guns pointed at them in the side windows. They proceeded to climb on the hood on the windshield, uh, side mirrors of the bus trying to pull the doors open, trying to pull the glass open. Not only are we seeing how dangerously close the cars came to hitting someone in the growing crowds, police say in some cases the group put their own safety in danger, hanging out of the windows of spiraling cars doing burnouts. Then there were the fireworks blatantly set off in the middle of busy intersections, felony crimes and shenanigans similar to another street takeover on Playhouse Square that 19 News profiled back in May. On the heels of the street takeovers, the police chief and mayor promising taxpayers and visitors they will use every resource available to identify and arrest anyone who was part of the destructive group that crossed the line from law to disorder. Reporting in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News. Police made an arrest in another street takeover, this one back on September 15th. 18-year-old Gage Michael Thomas Franklin of Akron, now charged with aggravated arson for setting a fire also at West 25th and Lorraine. Police still looking for another man, 20-year-old John Allen Dietrich of Barberton.